Oh. So this is how it go down now, right? Uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. So now, I got to use my tablet, right, to get to get it right. But then the lightning don't work for my damn tablet. Mm-mm-mm. This is a shame. Come on out, family. Come on out. What's up? What's up, Nehemiah, man? I'm trying to do the video. I'm trying to do the toast. And, and, um... Uh, I'm getting blocked, man. I don't know what's going on, man. It's crazy. I I try to do it on my phone. My phone only let me do it in one way. Good morning, Miss Miss Tarpe. We about to do our toast. Let me get my I got class glasses now. I don't like fingerprints when we doing our when we doing our libations, right? So we're gonna be we're gonna be drinking on a uh what's up, brother Kwame? Man. I don't listen. It ain't really being blocked. It's uh, I try to flip my screen on my on my phone, and it only allows me to do it one way. But if you look at the the case of my phone, it won't sit up like this. It only sits like this. This is the way you're supposed to be doing videos anyway, right? But Facebook on my phone will only allow me to do it like this. But I can't sit the damn thing up. You know, it's just, it's crazy, man. So. It's cool. It's all cool. It's all good. I still don't like how that look. Hold on. You know everybody want to drink from the king's glass, right, man? Ah. So, I want to say happy comedic new year. Uh, Kwame, what's the year again? Come on, man. Come on now. Redeem yourself. Come on. Get some redemption. What's comedic year? We got people with the run around with the wrong year. What's up, uh, Mr. Greg Arno? What's going on, fam? I will see everybody down at the school for the comedic celebration this morning. For the drum circle, the mental drum circle. Come out, learn to play some drums, learn some rhythms. Come out, learn how to use the drums to connect with your ancestors. Come out and learn how to get rid of some of the emotional baggage that you that we have as African people. This cup is looking horrible, so I'm going to take it up out the scene. All right, so now, um, on the show today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get down where well, I got to get down to the place early. I got to get down to the place early. I want to talk to some of the elders about um, this day, the, well, the, committed, the whole committed New Year piece, right? And that's going to be... My video for YouTube, right? But I wanted to share. Oh, it's 62. Is it 6258 now? Or will it be 6258 after we come out of the sacred time? Now, for those that don't know, right now we're in the sacred time, right? And this is why. Alright, this is what Brother Hot good at, right? Telling the stories. Right? So let's get into one of the stories, right? Because you got many stories. You got many, many myths, right? A lot of us. Get caught up in myths. And see, because this is what's crazy, right? When we start living myths as if they're reality, we start treating myths as if they're reality. And we start robbing ourselves. We start robbing ourselves of the wisdom that could come from them. Let me get this light over here. I don't know what's been. Good God, I'm like, <sighs> I'm gonna work on this lighting situation, ladies and gentlemen. I promise. I promise. I'm gonna work on this lighting situation. Cause over here it look like it's smoke. So let's go on and turn it this way just a little bit. All right. On the eight, it will be six two five eight. We are in the year of sixty two fifty eight, fam. Well, we're moving into it. Right now, we're in sacred time. What do you mean by sacred time? All right. So, um, as I mentioned the other day, our ancestors, way back in the day, we noticed that the year wasn't 360, right? Even though a circle is 360 degrees, they, they started realizing that the year was not 360 degrees, right? So, they 
came up with a way to explain this, right? Where you could listen to it as a kid and get it in a certain way, and you could listen to an adult and get it in a certain way, right? And the story, one of the stories that I heard, right? Because you know I'm old, right? I heard the story, right? Right? One of the stories I heard was, y'all ready? Jeb and Newt had a love affair going on, right? This is the earth and the sky. Now, in comedic tradition, the earth is masculine. The sky is feminine, right? Because masculine is limited, like the earth in a sense. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's material, right? It's, it has its limitations, but the feminine is unlimited, right? And and there's no wrong. There's nothing wrong with one. One is not better than the other because both of them are necessary. Limited and unlimited. If you don't have those two qualities in the universe, you have no universe. It's just like having all day and no night. You can't have a universe without polarities. You can't have a reality without polarity. Because in between the polarity is where we are able to exist. So Newton Jeb had a love affair, man. And once they embraced each other, they left absolutely no room for Rod to ride. And you know, Rod, one of their children, but Rod's powerful. Rod was like, man, ah, fuck this. Listen, I need a shoe and tough. Y'all get up in there and break them up, right? I want space so that I can ride. So he pushed them apart. And it turned out that Newt was pregnant. Now, Rod was like, look, look you're not going to have those kids on my time. Not my time. You're not going to have those kids on my time, right? Because I need to rise up through you, right? So I ain't, you ain't having those kids. Well, anyway, Tahuti, being the wise one, just happened to know how to get Newt some time so she could have her kids. So he went to the moon. And play some cards. He went to one of the moon parties because I don't know if y'all know uh, the deities kick it right. Just like we do, we have they have, we go out, we have a good time. These have good time, right? So T Tahuti went out, had a good time with the moon. They drinking, they playing lots. You know, back they that was cards or dice, you know, right? And Tahuti, you know, Tahuti took the moon for five days, five days of the moon's life, because you know. The sun rules the day. The moon rules the night. Right? So Tahuti was able to win five days from the moon. Five days. Five whole days. So he saw that Newt was suffering and he said, here, mama, you can have these five days to have your children. And on day one, she gave birth to Asar. On day two, she gave birth to Aset. On day three, she gave birth to um, Heru the Elder. Not the Heru that y'all know, but Heru Ur. And, you know, and these qualities, we get into that later, maybe. And then she gave birth to Nebhet. And then she gave birth to Set. Or was it Set and then Nebhet? I think it was Set then Nebhet, right? In those five days. Now, those five days justify the 365-day year, right? Because those five days weren't necessarily marked on the calendar, but those five days were honored nationally or at least throughout the country, right? So that the, because I want y'all to understand how the year would be get messed up if we took five days just off of one month, right? So you wouldn't notice it in the first couple of years, but after 50 years, you know what I'm saying? You missing about 50 days. My fault. Kwame, how many days would be missing after 50 years if we was to take five days off the calendar? Would it be 50? 50 days? So seasons would start running. You so, so winter would start popping up during spring. I mean, it, it would throw everything off. Sort of like how, you know what I'm saying? Sort of like what's happening out here right now. You know what I'm saying? Global warming, seasons is getting longer. So it might be a possibility that we have been gaining some time, you know? But, you know, I'm just, I'm not a scientist. I don't know nothing about that type of stuff. 
But it is kind of strange that, you know, seasons are kind of lining up like they used to, right? But anyway, all right. I just wanted to share that story with you, right? So now, make sure you get your water. Let me get my pills. So we're going to be down at the, uh, me and my kids, we're going to be down at the Millennium Community School um, with the community celebrating this comedic new year, bringing it in right, all right, so drink your water with me, come on. Oh, um, if we took five days a year out of the calendar, like for example, if we was just to live on the 360 uh 360 day year how many days we will lose five days a year so after 50 years that would be what how many days would that be 50 days or would, no that would be 250 days so that means you lose a whole year no i don't know well i'm i, I don't know the question i don't know i'm sorry it will be 250 days so Family, what you got to understand is that our, that our ancestors start realizing that if they didn't add these five days, right, the whole year would be thrown off. So during the sacred time is when we inputted these five days. And sometimes we'll input six days because, you know, every four years it's like we miss it's a quarter. So it's it's 365 days in a quarter. So every 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 four years we got to add an extra day. So it's actually almost 366 days in a year. It's 365 and a quarter days. Right? So uh, Kwame said that gives us a lunar year more or less. Right? So, I mean, so we kept time with the moon. We kept time with the sun. We also kept galactic time as well. And I know y'all like, how they did all this without um, telescopes? That's... An uh, excellent question. Now I need you to get up, get off the couch, and find out how they did that. See, that's the beauty of it. It's a mystery. Damn, I'm so damn. Man, it's dark up in here. Daddy. What's up, pretty girl? You need to go and uh, we got to get ready to get out of here, so you got to go take a shower. We're going to deal with the haze, fam. And my daughter's getting up, so we about to get up out of here, all right? So I'm gonna do. Show them your dress. Come on, show them, show them the little white girl dress that you. Come on. Oh, this one. Oh, oh, you sure you want to show this? Cause I'm gonna be videotaping at the um, at the thing. You sure you want to show them that? All right, go ahead. Sasha want to show y'all her dress that she gonna be wearing for a comedic new year, and she also going to a birthday party today too. That nice dress. You gotta show it so they can see how it's look on you, right? All right. So, so tell everybody good morning. Good morning. All right. Go ahead. All right. We going You about to get in the tub? So we gonna drink, drink the water. Drink your water. What you want? I want one of those cookies. You want one of those cookies? Nah, ain't no cookies in the morning, baby. You gotta get you. No, no, it's morning time. Plus, you know I'm doing my show, so you have to wait for me to get done. All right? All right, so we're going to drink. I'm going to drink another one because I only got, I ain't got enough for a four. Ask Cleo to rain you some water so you can um, take a bath. Ask Cleo to rain you some water so you can take a bath. Excuse me. Real life around the Jeremy household family. So, as uh, somebody told me last night, everybody show up on the video. Alright. We're doing the lemon lime. It usually don't fizz, but we're going to see what happens today. Every now and then, every now and then, 
It's a lie. That's right. Ooh, we got us a good batch today, y'all. Look at that. Listen. Wait a minute. Why is my camera? Oh, my God. My other camera broke. I don't know what's going on with it. But I think I'm about to get, I'm about to, I'm about to invest and get a, 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 a digital, a digital, di, di, no, not, not, not a new tablet. My daughter's excited because she think I'm getting a new tablet. But rather than get a new tablet, I think I'm going to get me a digital camera. We're about to take, we're about to take this whole thing to the next level so we don't never have to worry about the light again. We got us a camera with possible maybe night vision or something. I'm about to spend a little bit. I'm about to, have to spend a little bit of bread. I have to argue with the wife, but it's necessary. Right? So we toast the ad, we toast the creator. By whatever name you choose to call it creator, we call that energy into the room. We ask the energy to bless and guide us and give us strength in all that we think, say and do. We ask the creator, especially during these high this high season, right? You know, the the the, the sacred time. We ask the ancestors to intercede and bless each and every last one of us. We move to our personal ancestors and we lift up our glass to our personal ancestors. We remember our grandmothers and our grandfathers, our mothers and our fathers, our uncles and our aunts, our friends and our cousins, our nieces and our nephews. And we lift up our glass to all those who made the transition before us. We call on our personal ancestors. We remember them because, because they made it possible for us to be us. As flawed as some of us may be, right? It's through the flaws that we become the greater beings that we have been put on this planet to become. It's through us struggling through those pains that some of these ancestors may have inflicted on us. Some of the mistakes that they may have taught us. It's through us moving and learning through those that turns us into the heroes that I've been talking about on my last few um, shows on um, YouTube. So... We lift up our glass to them and remember our personal ancestors. I go through mine. Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robert and Texana Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia and William Walton, Chris and Fanny Gasson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, um, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Wash Ellis, uh, Margaret Ellis, uh, uh, Cecil Ellis, uh, Wash Ellis Jr., Herman Brown II, second. Uh, Avira Brown, Gina Gaines, uh, aunt, my Aunt Barbara Twiggs, my Aunt Katie Ellis, um, I think that's all the personal, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, John Fillard, Montague Pimpinell, Elder Harrison, Elder Farmer, Elder Donaldson, Elder Millie Dixon, um, Terrell Dunbar, Tony Clark, Mark Walsh, Elder Marianne, Dr. Marianne Williams, um, and Kojo Kamal. We lift up our glass and we say, Ashe, last but not least. What's up? Oh, she trying to show her dress that she wearing. Y'all need to go, you need to go get in the tub. Y'all want, what y'all want for breakfast? All right, last, we, we toast this moment. We are on, we are on Kaumba. As a matter of fact, let me do it right. Up, buddy. <clears throat> we are on Kaumba. Since we learning new stuff, we on Kaumba. Today is Kaumba. We salute creativity. Right on this day, we we seek our creativity. We're not seeking out Saturn. None of that. You know what I'm saying? We seek it our creativity. Uh, the modic principle is order, um, color is orange, the hermetic law that goes with it is cause and effect. Um, uh, Kwame, today is your day. Um, females that's born on today is Ama. Um, 
from the emotional emancipation circles. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Today in Warloff will be Jup or Jub, good character, just, honest, righteous, uh, in a kind ethics, strong character. What's up, Miss Jackson? Um, traditional Yoruba attributes of good character, Oju Enu, insight. So on today, on today, we're looking for those principles. If you keep it simple, looking for cool or creativity, right? Looking for how creativity reflects in your life and taking time to, to, to smell the roses in a sense and look around. So we toast today and we toast our children, our children's children unto infinity. Y'all see my babies up here I'm trying to show y'all the dresses they're going to be wearing to the comedic new year as well as to a party they're going to later on. So we lift up our glass and we say our shay. Last but not least, I toast each one of y'all. I want to toast you on your endeavors. I want to toast you um, through some of your ta challenges. I want to toast anything, any special libations that y'all got, y'all want me to pour for. Y'all gonna put them down, right? You know what I'm saying? If some of y'all got birthdays out there, oh, I think it was um, Naya's birthday. What two days ago? Toast to Miss Naya, send that, right? Um. So we celebrate each other, right? And and whether y'all know it or not, if you look on the timeline on when I share this on Jeremy Journey, it shows how many people watch this video. So we got a lot of people all over the country watching the video, watching the toast. And we've been toasting over 200 days consistently, right? So we lift up our glass to any issues that we may have because collectively there is nothing that can stop, it, stop us collect, collectively. As my man Jay-Z says, when the family feuds, nobody wins. So let's stop feuding, right? Let's bring it together. We toast, we say, Ashe. 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 I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. And before I take a sip, I need to send out shots because we got, coming from Atlanta, we got brother... Mwakesa coming here for a workshop um, called Injected Racial Scripts. Brothers Cold. Information is going to be dynamic. Those of you that's in Columbus, y'all need to check them out. Those of you that's down there in Atlanta, y'all need to check them out. He has the Aya Institute. Um, you can check them out at www.ayaed.com. A Y A E D.com. All right. Um, so, y'all make sure y'all come and check that out next week, right? You'll be doing it on the 11th, August 11th. That's near for us. And that one is free. But we have a limited, we have limited spaces for the workshop um, on Sat. Ah! Down. On Kaumba. I'm going to do the push-ups, Kwame. You ain't got to worry about that, man. I'm, I'm, I ain't going to... I... I don't want to drop right now, man. I know you sitting up there laughing. I ain't gonna. I don't want to drop right now. I do it after the video. All right, but hey, this is gonna be a powerful workshop. It's gonna be a life changing workshop. And like I'm telling some of y'all, some of y'all looking at the ninety nine dollars and like, ah, listen, invest in yourself, right? Invest. In, you're worth it. Trust me, you're worth it, right? Because you go out and spend that shit at a club. You spend it on at a concert. You know, spit it on you. Don't put that money in some some fool's pocket. Put it, put put that money, invest that money in you. All right, so let's go and drink up. No smoothies today. I'm slumming. Woo, nice and mature. It takes it takes a while for the lemon lime to really get fizzy, but man, it's worth the wait. All right, so I want to thank y'all. I got to go. I'm going to cook my kids something before we get up out of here. Um, I will see y'all down at the school because we're about to go. We're going to open a drum circle in about an hour, fam. So make sure y'all there. All right. Um, I want to thank Miss Jackson for stopping in. 
I want to thank Brother Kwame for stopping in on a regular basis. I don't know how, how many days you consistently been with me, Brother Kwame. Um, I want to thank um, Brother Greg Arnold for coming in. Um, I want to thank uh, uh, Miss Tarpe for coming in. I want to thank Mr. Nehemiah for coming in. Um, and before I, before we go, just so that you know, I'm going to knock out the push-outs. I'm going to knock them out right now. Umoja, Kuzi Chagalia, Ujima, Ujara, Nia, Kuumba, and Imani. Weighing in at 175 pounds, the toasting champion of the world, consistently 210 days. God damn it, we are almost back to Kwanzaa, y'all. And I can't wait for this Kwanzaa, right? Because this is going to be my Kwanzaa. This is going to be our Kwanzaa. We're going to build it up. All right, so now I want to tell y'all something, right? So what I discovered over the last few weeks when I've been working through um, the 21 Day Nguza Saba Challenge, I want y'all to understand this, right? Check this out, fam, right? You could use this 21 Day Nguza Saba Challenge to change anything you want in your life. Y'all saw me do the 21 day fast with that, right? Y'all saw me make it through the fast. I made it, right? Then I'm able to kick the tobacco habit. I'm working on that one right now. I'm at the last day, 21 days. I haven't touched it. I haven't touched it, right? So I'm saying, I said, damn, all right. I'm going to use the next 21 days to get my finances together because, you know, I'm often... Running up to points where I'm I'm overdrawing my checking account. So hell, I'm using the next 21 day challenge as a financial as a financial stepping stone for myself, right? So yo, um, I'm out. You get this when you um come get on the uh, 21 day angle stop challenge and it's free. You know what I'm saying? You get a PDF. You know what I'm saying? So hey, get your PDF. Join me, I, you know, because I'm going to be doing these 21 day challenges for a while, right? Because I got a lot of stuff I got to work out. And rather than doing, like, because a lot of times I'm, what I'm seeing is like when we get to New Year's and we make these resolutions or we want to do stuff, sometimes the goals are a little bit too big, too vague. So what I'm challenging you to do is to look at what you want to do and break it down into small pieces, Right, so you take the 21 day challenge and you say you want to lose weight. So, right, losing weight is kind of vain, you know what I'm saying? What is the process? What's the system that you want to put together for losing the weight? Well, I want to do a little bit more exercise. So, you take, you take 21 days and you start working on your workout regimen, right? Boom, every day you're going to do a little bit of this, a little bit of this, and you increase all that 21 days. Then, over the next 21 day challenge, I'm going to eat more vegetables. So then you start you start uh, doing that in. Then the next then on the next one one day challenge, I want to control my appetite. So then you start working in the intermittent fasting over the next 21 days, right? And then you you just start you start you you start seeing the small changes because the PC is right slow and steady wins the race. Right, a lot of us want to just do it real fast, right? Same thing with building a career. You can use 21 day challenge to build a career. Build the build take 21 days and focus on each step that you need to make it to be successful. Or you want to get a, to a certain level of knowledge on something. You use the 21 day challenge to help you move through, right? We're doing it culturally appropriately. So, yo, I'm out. I'm about to get my kids together, and I will see you down at the school. Peace.